Hello friends, welcome to the world of maths by Amie. In this learning concept video, we try to solve a question and learn a concept. The question is in front of you. What could be maximum radius of two identical circle which can be completely put inside a rectangle of dimension 3 cm and 4 cm without overlapping? Means this is a question of finding the largest circle possible inside a rectangle. 3 cm and 4 cm are just dimension. We need to find the radius of largest two possible circles inside a rectangle. Now solve this question. We have a rectangle, say name A, B, C and D. We have a rectangle A, B, C, D. Say the dimension is nothing but 4 cm and say 3 cm. Okay. Now place a circle and a center. So the name of this center is P. Another circle and with a center, say this one is nothing but Q. To get largest possible circles inside rectangle, we need circles should be tangential to each other, means should touch each other and the sides of the rectangle should also be tangent of the circles. I hope it is clear to you. Now we need to do some construction. Draw a line, say M and N parallel to AB. Another line say S and T parallel to AB but passing through the centers P and Q respectively. Two more lines parallel to AD and BC and passing through P and Q. Name it say K and I. This one is J and L. So we did some constructions here. Now join P and Q means join the centers and say this angle is nothing but theta. We know P and Q are the centers so we can say PM is the radius say the radius is R. QT is a radius so radius is R. We can say QT is nothing but say this point is D is dn so this one is r so this would be r say the pd say this point is t so in the triangle ptq this angle is theta we know p to this point is the radius of the first circle and this point to q is the radius of another circle so we can say the total pq is nothing but 2r that is r plus r is 2r so with this construction we can say in triangle PTQ if this one is theta then TQ or PD is nothing but 2R cos theta. This one is what PD or this one is nothing but TQ is 2R cos theta. If PQ is 2R this one is theta so we can say PT is nothing but 2R sin theta. We are working for these two value 2R sin theta 2R cos theta. So, if we work on the MN line, MN is nothing but R plus 2R cos theta plus 2R. So, we can say MN line is nothing but 2R plus 2R cos theta. And this MN line is nothing but AB is nothing but 4. So, this is our first equation. 2R plus 2R cos theta is 4. If we work on the AD line or say the KI line, this one the PK, PK is again the radius, QL is again the radius and QL is equal to TI is again a radius because QL is the radius so TI should also be the radius. So in the line KI we know R, 2R sin theta and R so total AD is nothing but KI which is nothing but 2R plus 2R sin theta so we can say the for the AD line this is nothing but 2R plus 2R sin theta is another side which is 3 cm. So we have two equation. Equation 1 is 2R plus 2R cos theta is 4 is one of the side. Another equation is 2R plus 2R sin theta is another line is 3. After solving these two equations, we will get the answer. I hope it is clear. Now solve these two equations. Now solve the equation and our equation was 2r plus 2r cos theta is 4, 2r plus 2r sin theta is equal to 3. 
The equation remains always the same for the largest two circles inside a rectangle. The one equation is 2r plus 2r cos theta is equal to 4, 2r plus 2r sin theta is equal to 3. By this we can say our 2r cos theta is nothing but 4 minus 2r and 2r sin theta is nothing but 3 minus 2r. Say so the equation is 1, equation is 2. Squaring 1 and adding with squaring of 2 would get 4r square cos square theta plus 4r square sin square theta that is cos square plus sin square is 1. We get in the LHS 4r square and in the RHS that is 4 minus 2r whole square plus 3 minus 2r whole square. By opening the bracket we will get a quadratic equation and solving the values for r we will get r is nothing but 7 plus 2 root 6 divided by 2 or 7 minus 2 root 6 divided by 2. This value is more than 5 but our one side is 4 cm the largest side is 4 cm so this cannot be the value of r so our answer is 7 minus 2 root 6 divided by 2 this is our required answer i hope it is clear to you now we get the answer by the process now check the formula or the generalized form we know our last equation was 4 r square is equal to 4 minus 2 r square plus 3 minus to our whole square. If we say the length is L and breadth is B, instead of writing 4, we should write L, instead of writing 3, we should write B, and 4 R square is nothing but 2 R whole square. So we replace 2 R by the diameter. The diameter square is nothing but length minus diameter square plus breadth minus diameter square. This is our gender term all the formula for this question where d is the diameter or we can say 2r radius square l minus 2r square plus b minus 2r square is our formula for this question i hope it is clear so we have these two formulae we know the basic how we get the formula and we know what the formula is so if you have any question on finding the largest circle inside a rectangle with the given length and breadth we can either use formula or use the basic concept I hope it is clear. Even if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. Thank you and happy learning.